Hey guys, Mr. Sherbert is back. I am sorry I didn't upload for like four, three or four months. Um, didn't have my laptop, now I have it. And that is what I'm gonna re be reviewing today. Let's get straight into it. First big change, as you've probably already noticed, is the touch bar. So this touch bar is amazing. Um, it does all sorts of cool stuff, like you can change it up and down. So, like Siri, open Safari. Then does that it's really cool you can also alter many different things such as the brightness um, and the volume it's pretty cool guys as you probably expect so yeah let's look at all different features and what's improved since the last MacBook Pro so now we've touched upon the touch bar we are going to look at the parts now the parts are USB-C so there's four of them and there is annoying parts about these, but there's also up parts. The annoying part is that you have to get an adapter to get USBs. But I reckon in a few years, everything's going to turn into... They are like a faster way of exporting files. This MacBook also has Thunderbolt, which links up to the USB-Cs. And it just makes a really, like, just smooth downloading onto the computer. Also, with the charger cable, which I've got plugged in over there, you can just plug it into the side, just any part, just like that. And it's really nice and convenient. Plug it into any part, just like that. They also kept the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now on the iPhone 7, it wasn't a big deal, but everyone was fussing over how the lightning cable is now the um, like audio jack. It's not a big deal, but they've also they've added it back in on this computer, so it's just simple. So you can get just any headphones, earphones, which has your bog standard Apple, and you just slot it into that hole right there and use them. Because slot any 3.5mm headphone jack into there, and yeah, you're ready to go. You can also get a USB power bank and um, plug a USB to USB C into it, and then just simply charge your um, MacBook on the go. So, if we now take a look at the specs of it, um, the MacBook Pro 13 inch 2016, four Thunderbolt 3 parts. So that's all these, but they're also called USB Type-C parts. They work with any Thunderbolt or USB Type-C part. We've got a 2.9 GHz um, Intel i5 core processor, which works a dream. You don't need any higher than that for editing or just office work. You don't need any higher. I've tried it. I've tried all the programs. It works crisp as anything. I've also got 8 GB memory, which is RAM if you don't know for like you people who aren't technical if ram so i've got 8 gig ram you don't need any powerful it's a macbook come on guys you don't need any more powerful than that you can upgrade to 16 gig ram but you don't need it you've got the intel iris graphics um 550 1536 megabytes works a dream graphics are amazing so if we now take a look at displays, as you can see here, it is a 13.3 inch MacBook. The screen is 2560 by 1600 pixels. Intel Iris Graphics 550, which I've already covered. Now, if we take a look on storage, the storage is just simple, really. Um, it's a flash storage, which is really good. 250 one gigabytes now don't let this fool you and um, it comes with a little less than what you actually ordered it's 254 gigabytes i think it doesn't actually come with that but all apple devices all devices really take a small amount of storage to run the computer and just to make sure everything like all these small applications work all right guys guys now let's take a look at the camera so as you can see we are on FaceTime right now. This FaceTime camera, it's amazing. I've done a FaceTime call on it and it's just really crisp and smooth and it gets your day-to-day -day business done. Um, you can also 
connect it up with your phone, which it usually does automatically if, it's, if you have the same Apple ID. So it transports all the photos, like on mine, I've got all the photos transported, all my information is on here, and yeah, just basically, it works a dream. Alright guys, so this is me using the um, FaceTime HD camera, and um, also the Mac Audio, and um, yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, they put FaceTime HD into it, um, unlike the MacBook, and it just looks really nice. Um, obviously the lighting is not too good, so it is a bit fuzzy, sorry about that. But um, yeah, it works, doesn't it? It's really nice, and yeah. Even if you go to the store, try it out yourself. Yeah, really good. Now, let's take a look on the launch pad. So the launch pad is where you can find pretty much every application. It's like search on your phone. So as I'm saying, it's pretty much the spotlight search on your iPhone. So if you go to your iPhone, scroll across to the right, you have this search. And you can search anything. So let's say, um, YouTube, it's already on there, but you know, yeah, YouTube. Um, I've got studio and all that. You can just search anything you like and you can even click on it. There's also folders. Folders are great for just um, like not using like all the space on the page, or, like not having multiple pages. Just simply create a folder and you can put a load of stuff in there. Alright guys, now moving on to the App Store. The App Store is great. It's almost as good as the iPhone, except you don't have everything that the iPhone has. Um, it does have, because obviously the iPhone has its own personal apps, and this has its own personal apps. But it's still great to use, and it's just really enjoyable. Now let's talk about the design of the actual laptop. So, it's a really nice, slim design. It's perfect for travelling. You can get 15 inch but it's not, it's probably heavy. But it's really light and it's just great. It also has these pads so you're not scratching your bottom up. If you leave it on wood surfaces, it'll just, it'll keep cool and it won't like get too overheated and just not work. But if you leave it on a bed, like my bed or just like a sofa or anything like that, it will start to overheat a lot quicker and a lot faster and it'll just like start slowing down so if you keep it on a wood surface the floor not the carpet but like anything solid it'll just it'll work like a dream all the time this is really thin this is a great thing apart from this is why they've got the usb type c's i was trying to say you can't fit a usb on there like if i get a usb now like, I have a USB here, it's obviously, you're not going to be able to fit one in. It's just going to be too tight a space, and it's just not what you want. You want it nice and just perfect for the job. Also, Apple have taken out the glowing Apple logo. They did this on the MacBook, but they have permanently done it now on this. It looks great. It, on, I'm not sure if it's an improvement or not. But it doesn't really make a difference. It now matches the phones, like I've got an iPhone 6 Space Grey. And yeah, it just, it's the same colour. Now let's talk about the colours. You can get this MacBook in silver or Space Grey. This was a great improvement. Um, space Grey has never been a laptop colour before, but it's been a firm colour for not too long actually, since the um, I think it was the 5S or 6 came out and it was just it was it's just a really nice colour. It's really smooth the whole laptop. I think it's made out of aluminium. It's just amazing. If you also like the MacBook, it's a full size keyboard in. It's it's absolutely amazing full size keyboard. That's exactly what you want. And the keys are slightly thinner, it works a dream. It's if you feel an old MacBook Pro, the key's are quite thick and once you start working with these, you fall in love. And then the trackpad, trackpad's a full size trackpad, it's bigger than the 15 inch ever was and it's just, it's amazing, it's the perfect size, 
can drag things really easily. And yeah, that's that. Now if we step onto iTunes, we can test the um, speakers. The speakers are nice and crisp, but they're just really nice. Same as the MacBook. They made the MacBook um, 12 inch speakers just sound like they were the perfect speakers. And now let's just play a song. See there that speakers can handle almost anything, even if you get a rock thing. Like I've created this thing in Garage Band, it handles it. Sounds a lot crisper on Garage Band than it does when you export it. I made this myself, it's a really good beat. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, don't forget to drop a like, really appreciate it, and if you're new, subscribe, and um, yeah, that's been me, and see you in the next video.